<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pittsburgh Playhouse, the Performing Arts Center of Point Park University, and the home of the Conservatory Theatre Company. As a courtesy to your fellow patrons and to keep from disturbing this performance, please take this moment to ensure all cell phones and pagers are turned off. And as an additional courtesy, please do not text during the performance. Also, the taking of any photographs or the use of any recording devices during this performance is strictly prohibited. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the performance. Thank 
much. I was starting to feel a bit sick there. Thank you. Thank you very much. You don't have to thank me. If they'd caught a rat and spun it round by the tail, I'd have done the same. Still? <laughs> oh, I'll have it if you don't mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the best fighter then? You must be. My dad said, find out who the best fighter is and stick to him like a limpet. I don't fight. <laughs> they do what I say because my father is the richest and my voice is the best. They're scared of what would happen if they touched me. Oh, still, I'm very grateful. <laughs> I know it's all just a bit of fun, but yesterday they stuck my head in a piss pot. And the day before that, they took me out to the tower blindfold and made me walk out onto the parapet. I'm scared of heights. Are you scared of anything? Wasting time. Wait! <laughs> Thomas Ledbury. <laughs> Alexander Ashbrook. <laughs> I owe you my life, sir. Forget it. You owe me nothing. <laughs> abandoned on the streets of London, then he set up his hospital for family and children. You have met him? Only once, miss. He tipped his cap to me and he shook me by the hand. And when I sat down, I felt a warm glow all over. And when I finally recovered myself, I thought, that was the goodness, that was the goodness pouring from him. Yes. And it's a very grand place, miss, the family hospital, all new and clean and, and with big fields all around for the little ones to play in, and a big gate out front to keep out the trouble. And the little ones, they, they wear fine uniforms and eat good food. And the babies. I've heard the babies are properly nursed. The babies go to the country to be nursed in weeds. By the kindest of women, women who know about babies. Then when they're old enough, they are taken to live at the hospital. They get taught to read and write, and they get apprenticed by the most respectable folks. I promise you, miss, your little fellow couldn't get a better start in this world. It's a girl. My baby is a girl. I'm sorry, I, I always think of them as boys with a of son myself. His poor dear mother was taken by the angels with only me to care for him. But we do all right, don't we, son? Yes, da. <laughs> Thank you, da. Here is she. Don't. I mean, please, don't. Mercy. Her name is Mercy. Can you be sure that Karam will take the child? Oh, yes, yes, he'll take it from me. All I need is a little money for my services, and then a little more from time to time as to pass on to the hospital to keep her in the best, you know, papers and pens and fancy cakes on her birthdays. Her birthdays? I can't do this. I can't. What is the choice? Tell me. Now, if the young lady doesn't want to give me a baby, then she shouldn't. The Karam Hospital can't take many, and there are many other babies I can take. No, wait. Instead. 
Wait a moment, would you please? Bad days. There's a bag here with clean linen for which she had grown a little and a letter explaining. And there's a ring on a ribbon around her neck. It was my mother's. I understand, miss. Take her. What was that, miss? Take her. And, and you will come to me and tell me how she is. Yes, miss. No. Remember what we said. Look me in the eye. Swear to me <coughs> on your son's life that you will take my daughter to Thomas Carroll and she will be cared for. On my son's life, I swear it. <laughs> Is this animal? 
Did you see Callas then? This isn't Handel. It's me. What do you mean? You don't mean you wrote it? I was lying in bed one night, playing through some Handel in my head and seeing the colours. And then different music started to come. And I started to put the colours together in different ways. And then I realised it was my music. It was coming from me. Oh, you really have got a gift. <laughs> so have you. No, I can just pick up a tune. You have. Work at your music. We'll both work. We'll work together. 